How does he bird? Welcome back to Pokemon Cafe Remix. Today, our main goal will be trying to earn up the rest of, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the, greet it, that's what it is. Greedon is our reward. As you can see, we've already got it unlocked, which is awesome. So we're just gonna be checking out that Pokemon today. We can also keep re raising Greedon's satisfaction level to unlock even more rewards. But as you can see, everybody has been really great, really good job with contributing to everything. And as you can see over here, there's still more levels to get if we keep working on it. And I definitely will be trying to help with that in today's episode as we play with Greedent a little bit, should be fun. Um, I might go do some Greedent trading level or training levels just to sort of get started. Of course, let's take a little screenshot of cute old Greedent. There we go. So Greedent's joined our staff, which is awesome. Uh, we are going to check out a couple of other things. But first, I might as well cheer on our fellow team members. Uh, it looks like it expired. Okay, never mind. So we'll head out of here and we will get started with all this then. Well, actually no, let's do the training first, like I said. Uh, I don't know if Greenan is required for any of these recipes, probably not, but we can go to the Pokemon over here. It is cool to see that, you know, because I think something evolves into Greenan, right? So usually most of our Pokemon are first evolution form, but now we're getting Pokemon like Charizard and now Greenan that they evolve into it. That's pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna get started with this. Yeah, we'll do the times two, that should be fine. Hopefully it gets us to level three pretty quickly. Cause then I can work on some other stuff, but yeah, let's get to it. Level, or 45 score, 10 sugar cubes and eight whipped cream. So I think I'll start down here. So we can connect to all that. We can break some of the sugar cubes. That was actually pretty good as a start. I see a ton of Celebi. Be yeah, a good job to everybody who participated in the tournament. I hope everyone was able to get their greedent in time. Okay, there we go. There's a couple of them broken down. So let's take a look at Greedent's special move here. Combine these two. Whoa, interesting. So it sort of goes down and then spreads out. All the berries go everywhere. That's cool. Okay, well it might take some practice to learn how to properly utilize that. I do get the concept. So at least we can make something work. Okay, that should be the last of that one. Which means all I really need to do here is that. There we go. Well, there's still one more. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yep, right around there. Got it. Okay, so is there gonna be a three star? Yes, there is. Out of this one, we need to go to 12 of cream and get 20,000 points. So that shouldn't be too bad, I think. Maybe I can do about there. It's not all of them, but it's pretty close to it. Oh, there's another one, nice. Okay, let's combo all of these Greedent, and that should be the last of the score we need. Guess there's another power up. Let's try this one. And same deal, get the last three, perfect. So that was actually a pretty easy job there. Able to get it done with next to no problems. And that already gets us at the level four, super easily. Wow, awesome. So I might just do one more normal training. Uh, popcorn is now green specialty gimmick. Good to see, and the other one is eggs? I haven't even seen eggs in the game yet, so Greedon seems like it's gonna be a good, useful Pokemon for different gimmicks. Glad to see it. Okay, so I don't wanna use as much stamina for this one, but I'm hoping we can get Greedon to level five with this. I guess we'll find out. Okay, it's 35,000 points, 16 whipped cream, and four tomatoes. Right now we gotta pop the tomatoes out of their little bubbles. There you go. And I think Greedon can handle this one pretty well. Yeah, what we wanna do here, the most part, it's a little difficult to hit them all, but we can indeed hit them all. There you go. Now that one tomato falls in, which is good. Okay, we actually got two of the tomatoes there. Really nice. Now I'm hoping I can sort of squish a bunch of these guys down and hit them like that because I tr could just try doing a bit of that as well. Hmm. Once again, a bit tricky, but I think we got it there. Is that everything? That's everything. Okay, first star done, two more to go. For this one, I'm seeing a lot of Snorlax. Perfect. Oh, we missed two of them somehow. That was weird. Okay, we'll definitely get those two that time. And they're all still pretty much together, so I should be able to get rid of that. 
And now it's just the tomato we have to worry about, which I think I can just match those together. I know three moves left. That should be plenty enough. There you go. Perfect. So there we go, another three star finish for Greedent. Not quite level five. So I could go for it one more time. You know what, yeah, sure. Cause I think we do unlock something for getting into level five, right? Maybe another gimmick? All right, 40,000 points, 14 sugar cubes, five whipped cream. This one's a little bit of a challenge just because we don't have a lot of room to work with, but we'll start breaking some stuff up. Combo Buizel, right there, ooh, that was good. I should have gone for half trim there, I think. Yeah, probably would've been better. But I'm seeing a lot of Greedent. Greedent's good to get when we get the chance because that'll give us bonus points and stuff. Now we go for half trim because there's a ton of it now. Okay, that wasn't too bad. What I think we can do here is this. Yeah, okay. Now we have tons more room to work with. We still have nine turns and everything, so I think we're gonna be fine. See a bunch of Meowth. Got it. Okay, three-star challenge coming up. 15,000 points on with Cream, 15 Green Ant. Okay, well I might as well get started with the Green Ant then. There we go. Yeah, I think the best thing I can do for right now is just try to earn up the superpower while beating up some of the whipped cream. And we're doing a pretty good job with that. We still have four turns left. And that's nearly all of them. So if I do this, that should be the last two that I've activated another superpower. So I literally just need to do that and we win. Perfect. So that should definitely be level five for Greedents. We already grew it into their current max level without having to earn up more cookies and stuff for them. Staff leveled up, level five. So do we get anything extra for that? Yes, we unlocked the eggs specialty gimmick, which I'm not too sure about, but we'll figure it out later. For right now, we're gonna head out of here. I do need more stamina now, I think. Well, I can use one more stamina. So let me go and get started with this. So we're just gonna be trying to earn through different orders today and sort of see what we end up getting. Uh, if we could get the order 85 today, I think that'd be a pretty good start, but we don't have any specific goal in mind for today's episode. November, the end of November is coming up soon, which means we do need to work through this a bit more, but we're now level 21, which is pretty exciting. We need to get to level 30. So I still have nine more to go or 10. Uh, let's go ahead and work on, all these have three out of three. So maybe I'll just choose one at random. It doesn't really matter too much. We'll do Steeny. And we'll do a little bit with Mancina. Looks good to me. Okay, so a bunch of honey, a bunch of it. 21 honey for sugar cubes, 40,000 points. All right, we got this. The good thing about Mancino having the honey specialty is that it can go through and hit multiple at once. And if we do that, they sort of all spawn in on top of each other. And that actually makes them take each other out in a way. It's weird, but it's really useful that it works that way for us. Okay, I see a ton of Lucario this time, so I think I'll just do that. And that should be the last of the honey. I could use a superpower here, but I don't think it'd be worth it if I could just do that. Perfect. Okay, so our three-star challenge. Shouldn't be too bad. I could just hit this there. And then hit this right there. Perfect, that's the rest of it. Beautiful moves. We just need to score some points now. Really easy job. Awesome. So we're doing pretty well today. So far when it comes to getting three star challenges done, happy to see it. So it's gonna be three more cookies for Steeny. So we can push Steeny past our max level whenever they reach level five. That's always cool to see. Uh, next up, order 77. We definitely want to do Sneasel. I probably should have done a heaping helping, but I forgot, it's okay. Oh yeah, I have no stamina. So let's go ahead and get our team. I've had some waiting here just in case I needed it, you know? Perfect. Um, and I can request some more for later. There we go. Thank you everyone who's been part of the team and requesting and also earning their own stamina. Always appreciated. Okay, 55,000 points, 10 whipped cream, two nuts and eight marshmallows. Let's go for it. This one's a little tricky, because as you can see, some of them are just plain blocked off. 
So we can't get to them from here. But luckily, as you saw there, uh, this Pokemon specially is to be able to destroy the nuts. So, pretty cool. I'll go ahead and hit that, I guess. This part's a bit tricky because one of those marshmallows is on a different pattern than the other. Can't quite get those right now, so we'll just try to earn up another power-up. There you go. So wait until next turn. Yeah, so far, this one is a little weird, a little difficult. And that should be good. Perfect. Okay, three-star challenge time. Whoa! Okay. Uh, how in the world are we doing this? I think for right now, it might seem a little counterintuitive, but if I could just get some marshmallows, I got both of those, uh, that gets me a power up. Now remember, Snuffle can destroy the nuts pretty easily. So maybe I should just be doing that? I don't know, this is weird. Um, can hit both marshmallows and that. Okay, two more nuts is all I gotta do. So maybe if I, perfect, right there. I didn't even hit those. <laughs> I should have, it would have been cool, but I don't know, I wanted to make sure that I actually got through that. A culinary masterpiece though, pretty cool. I might have done that the difficult way, I'm not really sure. But that was gonna be three more hearts for Sneasel, so we are almost halfway to unlocking Sneasel, which is pretty exciting. How is it going with earning up these little mints for Greedon? It's not going so bad, but we are a long way to level 10. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that in the next two days, but I'll certainly give it my best shot in today's episode. So this time, I think we'll do Sneasel again with the heaping helping. This will make a big difference for unlocking Sneasel. And we'll do Munchlax, which will give us bonus mints for uh, the Green event. So this lines it up perfectly. We have 70,000 points, 12 whipped cream, 45 vegetables, and three megaphones. So this one's actually a bit tricky. Luckily, I see a lot of Squirtle all over the place. We're gonna earn up a ton of vegetables that way. Now this time I see a couple of Munchlax ready and waiting for us, so. There we go, really good stuff. Now it's Mancino's turn. Okay, looking good. Back to Squirtle now. So, so far this vegetable part of it is actually not too bad. Okay, I see the two whipped cream we need to hit. And they are both actually one hit away, so that's good. So we just need to do megaphones now, so I guess I'll just use one of these. That should earn me another one. Then I'll just let that rip. There you go. Looks delicious, I'm glad. Okay, so 23,000 points, 20 vegetables, six whipped cream, Two megaphones. I think that if I just, yeah, combo those two, I can get rid of all the whipped cream at once, get a couple megaphones going off here. We just have to worry about the vegetables now. I'm still a bit worried. That was more than half of them now. Okay, I think using Munchlax here would be plenty fine. Excellent, so on that last possible turn, we got the three stars done. That's what you wanna see. Culinary masterpiece. Okay, good stuff. So that's going to be five hearts for Sneasel. A huge jump up, 19 out of 30. So only 11 more to go for Sneasel. Hopefully we can get that in the upcoming episodes. But we do actually have a Pokemon appreciation challenge. Pokemon will give you some presents based on the number of golden acorns you redeem. So yeah, we've seen this before, where the more we redeem, the more cards we unlock and stuff. I don't know, this one's a little weird because it just gets very expensive very fast. Regardless, we're not gonna sweat it. We're gonna move on to order 80, where we could get bonus points for Minchino. Uh, but I have 16 cookies for Minchino, so I think it'd be better to do something else. Like, I could get my three cookies for Score Bunny right now. So I think we'll try that. Because I don't get the chance to earn up uh, cookies for Score Bunny often. So we got our order here. Oh, that was actually a pretty good move, I think, to start things off. I do see a lot of Rowlet on this side. And that also gets rid of some of the, the nuts right away, so pretty good move if you ask me. Okay, good stuff. There is a whole bunch of Grookey. There we go. Okay, it's just the two nuts remaining down here. So once again, going to Rowlet. I like how all the Pokemon here are all starters. Okay, sort of messed that up. I'm just going to do that. 
Perfect. So we have Rollick, Rookie, Eevee. And this is all for Score Bunny, who's also a starter. Okay, this is a little bit scary because we're running out of the moves, but I think you can get the majority of it done right here with this big move. Yeah, that's actually it. That was even the 9,000 points. Awesome, that was a really cool one. So two moves remaining, we get that one done. All the stars intact. We're making some good progress today. Like We're steaming through these levels. This is what we always like to see. Okay, so next up, uh, we'll just do another order. I am running out of stamina soon. Hmm. I think we'll just do Bulbasaur. Yep, well actually, oh no, I should've, whoops. Okay, this might be a waste of stamina. I guess we'll find out. 90,000 points, 12 of cream, 20 honey, 18 vegetables. This one is a lot. This one is a plateful. There we go, that wasn't too bad though. Good starting move. I think Rowl will, will work fine for this level. It's always tricky when you choose a Pokemon you didn't mean to choose. I need to break into that part over there. Because yeah, remember, it hits to the right. So the more space I can make up. I, I couldn't really move anywhere there, that was a little weird. Sometimes it gets caught up like that. I don't appreciate it too much. Okay. The, the only problem with this is that the specialties don't line up really. Okay, so yeah, right back here. Can hit all of them, but I got most of them. So that's still pretty big. Go over here and get rid of this. That's the rest of the honey, and that's gonna be the first star challenge done. So we're making this work. 20,000 points, five honey, 10 vegetables, five up cream. This seems easy enough. Yeah, I'm hitting everything right here. Wow, the only problem is we are slowly running out of moves. Right about there. That's most of it. So now if I do ooh, that, I almost missed that one with cream up there, but we got it. And that's the challenge done. So even without the recommended Pokemon, we came out of this with the full three stars. Pretty cool. And three more cookies for Bulbasaur as well. I think we still need seven more for them. Oh, what did I click? I didn't mean to click that. Uh, hmm. So we have one more salmon left for now. And I guess we'll work on Rowlet. Because same thing, we're trying to get Rowlet to 10. Oh, we play as Piplup as well, that'd be fun. Okay, for this one, there's some frozen stuff, which is new. Ta to break an ice cube, make a combo next to it or hit it with a skill. All right, well, no better Pokemon to do this with than uh, <laughs> Piplup, right? So there we go. Interesting, even got a little, oh, right there, perfect. Okay, look at that. And that should be the rest of the Mangina. So there we go, nine turns left over. How do I wanna do this one? Okay, well I meant to hit Greedent there, but I can do a couple of things with this. I can make some space. Now I can get the Greedents. Okay, just one more is all we need. And there we go. <laughs> so I just need to get a good score now. That should be enough. It's not enough, whoops, okay. Should've just tried to match more of it. Missed out on some acorns because of that, but it's not the end of the world. There we go. So a new gimmick unlocked, the ice gimmick. It's basically like honey, but not. It's a little weird. I guess it's like honey, but it actually contains something and doesn't spread. I don't think it spreads. Either way, we're almost at 22. We're making some good progress. So this is where our problem lies though for now, is that we're out of stamina. But Mew appears, maybe Mew can help me. Even though, once again, I'd rather put experience in my other Pokemon. So I could redeem, or would this like restore all my stamina? Okay, if it only restored one, I was like, that's not really a fair price. But if it restores all five of it, I'll take that. Okay, so more ice, 32,000 points, 16 whipped cream. And it looks like we're starting with some power-ups too, so that's pretty cool. So I probably want to save that then until we break everything out of the ice. Yeah, I think that'll be a smarter move. Okay, 
So do that, bring it about here. It's not everything, but it's a good majority of it, so that's nice. And now with the rest of this, we could do that, and that should be the last four of them. Perfect. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky, I think. Maybe if I could get the, the Charmander's line up a little bit better, it would've been fine. Okay, I can beat some of them up, and honestly, that might be enough. Even just with this one power up, because they're also lined up so nicely. Okay, just right there. Got it. With eight turns left over, that is so much. Wow. Okay, so that gives us 80 acorns. Pretty cool. I'll okay, get the bonus 45 there. Glad to see it. Order 83, what do we got? I'm thinking we'll work on Bulbasaur some more with Munchlax, so bonus mints for Credent. Love to see it. Order 83, we got cheese, we got marshmallows, vegetables, and megaphones as per usual with Munchlax. So we'll go for this, see how it goes. Right now, I'm mostly focused on the vegetables because it is quite a few that it wants to get through. Hmm. Okay, don't worry about the superpower and all the stuff there, I think, because the marshmallows are not gonna be available this time. Anyways, I did not let go there, that was weird. That was really actually that's gonna mess us up a lot because I'm still not through the cheese and I can't get to the marshmallows just yet. Right there. Okay, I got through one, didn't get through the other. Okay, come on, get through please, thank you. Now it's all gonna fall together, which is perfect. I can hit some there. Megaphones are gonna go off all over the place. That'll hit off another one. That gets another marshmallow for us. So we just need two more marshmallows, but they're not available this turn, so. We'll just make a big match or something. There we go. So we're two marshmallows. I see one there. Perfect. Okay. So what's going on for three star challenge? I'm a little bit worried about this one, not gonna lie. Um, whoa. Uh, I think about there. I wanna see the superpower for one. Combine everything like this. Okay. This is still gonna be pretty close. How do I wanna do this? I guess like this. I wanna get rid of that cheese. Then I see the sobble. Get that all there. And I think that'll just barely yeah, be everything. Wow, on the last turn, we get yet another three stars. I don't think we've messed up the three stars a single time so far. That's awesome. Definitely happy about that. Got 84 coming in. And with this one, Snubble's pretty close. Yeah, that's right, we messed up our chance with Snubble last time. Not this time. We're gonna get Snubble, their max level raise. It's the last thing I do. So we got honey, we got soda bubbles, we got olive oil, it's a whole mess in here. So we do, we do need a combo of 25 links, and I think that's gonna be Togepi, but I don't know if there's enough Togepi just yet. I can just get a couple more dropping in. Now that is definitely 25 of them. If I can get all the matches in time to them. 27, there you go. Awesome. Now we have some huge work across the entire board. I think I might just match up Togepi again. Excellent. All right, I'm seeing a fair amount of Charmander, so I think it would be a good time to focus on that. That's a little weird. Okay, we just need 5,000 points now, and we're done with the first star. Excellent. So what do we have for this one? We have tons of power-ups waiting around, so I think it's fair for me to do this, and this should turn more of them into Togepi, as far as I understand. No, it turns them on the Charmander. Okay, that's fine. Because I just need a link of 25. I just need to be a link of 25. Togepi. Even though it'd probably be, probably be more convenient. But then I could just do this, and we're done. Perfect. I like it, for sure. We're, we're, we're doing good. Each level, we're just storming through. And order 85. So this will probably be the last main order we do for today's episode. And with it, I can get our max level raise with Eevee, so that'd be cool. We'll do Jigglypuff. We very rarely use Jigglypuff. That's that's interesting. We have so many Pokemon at this point, it's hard to have an even spread of any of them, you know? Either way, 30,000 points, 33 tomatoes. Where do I wanna start? I think here? No, I didn't mean Charmander, I meant Lucario. 
Darn, okay, that'll at least make some space for us. This is gonna get complicated pretty quick. So as many of those as we can clear out as possible would be good. Okay, there's a bunch of them falling in. I see a fair amount of Pikachu. I think I'll get those two. Now I see a bunch of Jigglypuff. Yeah, I don't think we have any Pokemon that ices their specialty just yet. Okay, if I could just get most of them, all but one, all but one. Okay, gonna get all those tomatoes in there. Come on. So we still have a lot of tomatoes that are just chilling out and not quite in the basket, but if we do the cycling motion, a good few of them end up falling in. Maybe if I do this, I don't know how the power up will help me here, but I guess we're about to find out. Whoa, okay. That was actually pretty crazy. Come on, tomatoes. Oh, tomatoes are so picky sometimes. It's just that last one, right? I just gotta get that guy in there. That's all we needed. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for our three-star challenge? With six turns left over, it really shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm thinking we will hit it about there. Then I can combo these two, hit it about there. Okay, now it's all the same Pokemon, which makes it so much easier for tomatoes. And there we go. Excellent. Didn't even need to break all the ice for that. So as you can see, three more for Eevee, and I think that's the order I wanted to get to in today's episode, so that's pretty cool. So let's see, our challenge is over this way. We got the used golden acorns out of the way. Um, We've made some more progress over here, not quite enough to get to level 22, but we'll chip away at it for sure. I know, I, I think I still have an infinite... No, I guess I don't. I thought I still had one of those you know, infinite stamina things that was saving for later, but I might have accidentally clicked it earlier. Either way, I think I'm going to try to do this next episode, just to get us level 30, even though that would be a ton of acorns. I don't know if I have that much. <laughs> so I might have to get to one more level and then do the rest. Uh, we'll have to see what I have time for. But not quite finished, I wanted to do a couple more things. Go, po go to Pokemon. What does Bulbasaur have that's new? I guess just a new outfit. Hmm. But, who, who did we just do? I think it was Snubble. Unlock, here you go. You love to see it, max level raise from five to 10. So some of that experience is actually going to something now. And I think we just did that for who? Was it Eevee? I think it was Eevee. So we can't raise Eevee's max level just yet, but now we have that option when the time gets there. So that's pretty cool. And that's what we're sort of looking for. So there's a little lock next to their level. We just need to make sure we earn cookies for them at some point but I think that's it for there. Okay, pretty productive episode then. I had a lot of fun, hopefully you guys did too, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Cafe Remix. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.